Hello there, here we are in the uh, beautiful region of Puglia. Today it's with great pleasure that I have a stunning townhouse to show you in the heart of the beautiful city of Oria. Now Oria has tons of history and we will be putting a little bit of clips in of Aurea, but today I'm showing you a 270 square meter uh, property and it's uh, currently three bedrooms, could easily have a fourth or a fifth bedroom as well depending on your needs. Now what this is, this is actually two properties that have been restored and kind of fused together, um, but it's absolutely stunning. They have done an incredible job with the restoration, they have incredible taste and I've just been looking forward to show you this one. So uh, without further ado, let's come inside. So actually I just want to start with the door, as you know I'm a big fan of doors. I love the color choice and you'll see they've been quite bold with the colors in here uh, and I love the different tones that they've gone in. So it's not just a property where they've gone with the safe option and this is obviously the original door and it's absolutely beautiful. Now coming in immediately we are welcomed with this large room which sets the scene for the house itself. So being a townhouse sometimes you expect smaller rooms and definitely maybe lower ceilings. The ceilings here are so tall. Please get me in the shot as I'm six foot and I'm holding my arms up. I'm not even close. This is absolutely stunning. And obviously these star vaulted ceilings as well are beautiful. Again, what I mentioned previously, they've gone with these subtle tones of light blue and then we've got the pinks and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. These were actually the colors that they would use in the past. So they've been very good at keeping the character of the property previously. But I think they've also been extremely lucky with finding a lot of the original paving. Every pavement you see here is pretty much the original they found when they came across the property. So they were incredibly lucky to find that. That is extremely rare. Now this is the dining area. So this is just off the kitchen, which we will get round to showing you. So this is where you'd be dining inside. But the nice thing about this property is it also has an outside space uh, where they also have a dining table. And because it's so beautiful here, most of the year in Puglia, obviously you can have the option between dining inside or out. So again, great size room here. I hope you can kind of get the size. Um, and this really is how the rest of the house is. Lots of large, very high, tall ceilings. This brings us through to the first bedroom we're seeing today. And again, look how large this room is. It is absolutely massive. And again, we've got the same ceilings from the first room in here as well. Now here we have air conditioning as well as central heating. So obviously we are in the heart of town and we are actually directly behind the castle which sits right in the middle of Aurea. I will be putting in some drone shots to kind of show you its position better. Um, so you can see really good sized bedroom, tons of storage space, and they've even got a desk and a little office space in front of the bed. Now, this is one of my favorite features of the house. You can see we've got this beautiful balcony here, and this balcony wraps around the entire uh, first half of the property. Now, please show them these details because this is not often that you see these types of columns and outside finishes. I mean, just the attention to detail in this property. And again, this is all the original property. You can see these beautiful arched columns as well. And again, we are just in front of the castle itself. So again, I'm definitely gonna do a drone shot of this angle here. Now here we actually have the second bedroom, but we'll go in from the other side because I don't want us to get lost. And then I'll show you the outside dining space after as well. So just coming back in on ourselves, again, look at the shutters. Again, they've gone with the same kind of color of the doorway. So it's all been thought out and I really love as I say, these different tones that they've used. It's nothing too bold, but goes extremely well with all the rest of the decor and the floors as well. Now coming through here, we have one of the most spectacular sitting rooms I've had the pleasure of coming into. And again, we are in a townhouse here, so it's quite incredible to see these huge uh, tall ceilings and just great open spaces. And this is something which is 
quite rare to find in townhomes. So I love the decor, I love the furniture. I would pretty much want everything as you see it. Again, it's like one of those properties that you see and you just kind of feel like you're walking into a magazine of uh, interior design. Uh, and I think they've had incredible taste and I, I know they actually do quite a few properties and they're all kind of done with this taste. So I think they're gonna be highly in demand uh, for quite some time because it really does really respect what uh, Puglia original properties have and the history of these properties, but also turns it into a very livable home. Um, so, I mean, the features that they've managed to keep on here, uh, look at this archway here. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. And actually, this is where the first property ended. So they've managed to purchase two properties, one next to the other, this would have just been a wall, a closed wall, and they'd managed to make it a little corridor onto the next uh, property. So I think they've done an incredible job here. Again, I can't stress it enough. Um, now coming back on ourselves here, we have the second bedroom. Now we have tons of light in these rooms. I don't know if you've noticed, but all the windows are very large. They're the original windows from this area. So beautiful to have these outside shutters as well as these indoor windows. And again, tons of space in here. Look how large this bedroom is. This is a beautiful size bed. And then obviously here we've actually got dual windows as well. So lights coming in from both sides. Uh, please show them the ceilings uh, and this detail in the middle, which was originally there and with those colors. I love how they've kind of lined up the pinks with the, with the violets and the, and the purples, and it just works so incredibly well. I'm sure you'll all agree, this is one of the most special properties we've had the pleasure of taking on, and I feel very lucky to be able to uh, present it to you. Uh, I think it will definitely be snapped up rather quickly because these properties are very rare to come by. We are constantly looking for these types of properties, but unfortunately there aren't that many of them. So it obviously adds to the value. Now coming through here, you can see we've got the outside dining space. How beautiful is this? I mean, really, again, even the details here, the floors, obviously the, the table they've selected with the chairs and the dual colors, I can't help but smile when I look at them. Uh, and then even the details. So this window here is into the bedroom and you can see they've gone with a light blue um, color for the outside windows. And then again, this is the balcony which wraps around all the rooms that we've seen up until now. There is a little beautiful square down here and you can see Aurea has a lot of beautiful architecture. Now, coming back on ourselves, we come back through to the sitting room. We do also have this little space here as well, which when I say little, I mean this would usually be a bedroom in other properties, um, but this is actually, again, another really good size area uh, with a few chairs. And this kind of joins you on to the second part of the house. Uh, and you can see just how cleverly they have connected the two into making it into a seamless property of just one large property, and it just makes it such a great livable space. Now here, they've kind of got a little study area, and again, please look at these ceilings. These are super tall ceilings, and you can see the detail in the middle there. Again, these are just, it's so rare to find these types of properties. 
and obviously have someone do such a good tasteful restoration. Sometimes they can do too much and they kind of ruin the character of the property, they kind of lose some of the charm and I think this is just that right uh, in between of, of just respecting as much the history as possible and keeping as many of the features as possible. Again, all the doors are the old style doors. Coming through here, you can see we have another little sit sitting room area. This is not as large as the first one we saw, but at the same time, it's still a really good size. And you can see they've kind of put details in the corners. We've got a window here, so a good size window. Now what you see on the other side as you come back here, I just want to point out, obviously, again, original style floors here. They found the original tiles here already. So again, very fortunate on that. But I do want to show you, this is the other entrance. So this was the entrance to the second property. And uh, obviously, you've got the option of potentially putting a door in the middle of the two properties and then you know maybe you could rent out one while living in the other. It gives you a lot of options having a second entrance uh, to uh, the property so you can divide them up as you wish. So we have the third bedroom here. Again, huge room. This is absolutely massive and it's got a great feel to it. It just feels almost like a temple when you walk in here with these ceilings that are extremely tall. Uh, and then again, I love what they've done with the decor. Just so simple. It didn't need a lot done to it, but just to respect those tones and obviously everything fits with these original tiles that are absolutely stunning. Uh, and the bed with the symmetrical side tables, I think it's you know, you just kind of want to sit down and take pictures of each angle because each angle has been thought out. Nothing has been kind of left uh, without thought and without, you know, the passion that you put when you are doing something with love rather than just doing it to, you know, make a quick sale. So you can tell that is not the case for this property. Now coming through here, we have the first of the bathrooms that we are seeing. There is a bathroom right next to the dining area when we entered, uh, which we will see at the end of this video. But you can see, again, a very good sized bathroom in here. This is not your average bathroom. You've got, again, the vaulted ceiling, so absolutely beautiful. And I love how they just exposed the tulfa of the ceilings and the rest is just white. Uh, and you've got some kind of areas where they've also exposed. Now here we have a really good size shower. So I'll let you just have a quick look at the shower. Incredible size shower. And the other thing is we've got a couple of bonus uh, areas that we are showing you today. So actually this property has this little outside area. And coming down here, we actually have a washing room, really useful to have actually, and away from the main house, especially when your house is so picturesque. It's nice to have a room where you've got the washing machine uh, and uh, the dryer, I believe that is as well. So it's very handy to have. You've obviously got the boiler in there as well. And then if we come down these steps, we also have another large room, which again is a bonus room. You can decide what you want to do with it. As it is, it's just an empty room, um, but potentially could be a gym, could be another bedroom, could be obviously a storage room. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that this room would allow you to do. It's actually a really good size space again, so it's not a small room by any means. Um, and some would even think of maybe even a spa down here, being that it's lower down. So obviously another really good option, but that is why you could potentially have a fourth and a fifth bedroom, which we're gonna get round to showing you now, um, as it is on the way up to the roof itself. So just coming back into the house. Now, as we walk through, I kind of want to mention just how nice and peaceful and quiet this area is as well. So we are in the historical center of Aurea and uh, obviously 
It is a very peaceful town. It doesn't get too much tourism, but it's also quite busy all year round. So you don't need to expect a, a town that completely empties out uh, in the winter. So it's kind of that really good in between. So we've come back through the beautiful sitting room. We are back into the main entrance area with the dining room. I didn't show you before, this is the bathroom just off of here. Absolutely beautiful shower. And again, we've got those beautiful ceilings in here as well. So every room has amazingly tall ceilings and it really does make you feel that you're in a very large property uh, with, you know, obviously tons of space. Space is definitely not missing in this property. As I mentioned previously, it's around 270 square meters of property. And here is the kitchen. Again, super cute kitchen here, tall ceilings again, and a really decent sized kitchen with everything you kind of need. So you've got the oven here, you've got the cooking hob and a really good sized sink. Again, I even love the taste of the kitchen. I don't think I would do anything different. I think you'll all agree I would want everything as is. Um, so there's always gonna be a battle between if the owner wants to give everything or not. But I think in this case, that absolutely could be an option if you like the interior furniture. So this doorway here actually takes us up to the roof terrace, but on the way up, there's actually a couple of rooms, um, which again, potentially could be another bedroom situation or an office. It is still very cute up here for just an area that just leads you up to the roof. Look at the ceilings again, barrel vaulted ceilings here. You've got lots of beautiful details. And this here could easily be another bedroom because if you look at the size, we can see there's tons of space in here. You can easily fit another bed. And again, depending on your needs, uh, it is something which could be a possibility. Look at these ceilings, even in here, incredible. Just incredible to see these, this level of detail and, and incredible like charm in every room. We do actually have a fireplace here as well. So potentially in the past, this would have been a room maybe where they were cooking uh, and obviously with a fireplace that large, that was often the case. Um, so beautiful ceilings in here as well. That gives you the option of the last and final bedroom. And then we come up to the roof terrace. Oops. You're gonna mind your head coming up to these places. But I think you'll all agree, it is a really good space. And again, I'll be putting in the drone video to show you where we are positioned, because right behind us, we've got this stunning castle. And uh, obviously that is really the main monument of Aurea. It's where everyone would like to be. Uh, and you can see, Aurea is built up on a hill, so we actually have all these beautiful surrounding views. And this is a really good sized terrace as well. So you've got absolutely tons of space up here to create an outside garden. I think this is really the only place where I would do some work because it's nice to have a larger outdoor space. But again, you've got tons of space to do that. Uh, and again, these great beautiful views of the surrounding area. So I think that's all we had to say to about this property. I think you'll agree it's one of the most beautiful properties we've had the pleasure, pleasure of presenting to you. Um, so if you have any more questions on this property or any of the others, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much for watching.